Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to use ChatGPT to teach you how to create a simple calculator that can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division based on user input. Let's begin to ask ChatGPT how to use Java to create a simple calculator that can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division based on user input. Show all the steps and explain the details to a beginner. And here is what ChatGPT tell us. So step 1, setting up the basics. The first thing is to open a text editor. Open a plain text editor like Notepad, Windows, TextEdit, macOS, or any code editor you prefer. We are using Replit. It is a platform where you can write, run, and share Java code online. Go to replace.it. Choose create and type Java as the language. Create a new file. Create a new file and save it with a.java extension. For example, you can name it simplecalculator.java. Let's write the basic structure. Start by writing the basic structure of a Java program. Import java.util scanner. This line imports the scanner class, which allows us to take input from the user. Public class simple calculator. This is the main class declaration. Public static void main string args. This is the main method where our program's code will run. Step 2, taking input and displaying menu. Create a scanner object. Inside the main method, Create a scanner object to read input from the user. Scanner scanner equals new scanner, system.in, then, display a menu. Display a menu to the user with options for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Add the following lines after creating the scanner object. System.out.println, select an operation, system.out.println, 1. Addition, system.out.println, 2. Subtraction, system.out.println, 3. Multiplication, system.out.println, 4. Division, system.out.print, enter your choice, int choice equals scanner.nextInt, the above code displays a menu and prompts the user to enter their choice. Step 3, performing the chosen operation. Performing the chosen operation. Based on the user's choice. Perform the corresponding operation. Add the following code after displaying the menu. The code prompts the user to enter two numbers. It uses conditional statements, if, else if, else, to determine which operation to perform based on the user's choice. It calculates the result and displays it. Now we have the complete code. We first import the scanner class to read input from the user. Then, we create a scanner object named scanner. Next. We display a menu with options for different operations and prompt the user to enter their choice. And then, we read the user's choice using nextInt. After that, we prompt the user to enter two numbers. Next. We use conditional statements to determine which operation to perform based on the user's choice. Then, we calculate the result based on the chosen operation. Finally, we display the result. Now let's compile and run. Open a terminal slash command prompt. Navigate to the folder where you saved even odd checker.java and run this command to compile. Javac simple calculator.java. After compiling, run the program using Java simple calculator. Now we can test it out. Let's choose one for addition. Enter one as the first number. Enter two as the second. It gives us the result is three. Let's run it again and choose two for subtraction. Enter 31 as the first number, enter 30 as the second number, it shows 1 as the result. Let's try enter 3 for multiplication. Let's choose 2 as the first number and 3 as the second number. It shows 6 as a result. Let's try the division. Enter 6 as the first number and 3 as the second number, which result 2. Perfect. This program demonstrates the basics of creating a simple calculator in Java. It takes user input performs arithmetic operations, and displays the result. It's a great starting point for beginners learning Java programming. Thank you for watching, hope you like this video. Subscribe and let's learn code with AI together.